Welcome to this special edition of the Scientific Audiophile, where we are going to break some serious news. The Harman target curve is kaput. Forget about it. It is actually based in flawed science and, worse yet, racism. Now, the Harman target curve has been controversial since the day it was released. Harman, believing that through science, math, research, and engineering, you could create better audio products. Audiophiles, on the other hand, fought back because they believe that quality audio reproduction is done through listening, love, and artistry. So, some of these audiophiles joined a group in London, England called Stop Harman Audio Group. Unfortunately, it was infiltrated by a bunch of English swingers and therefore shut down. Harman thought the controversy was over. Until now. First, for those who may not know, what is the Harman target curve, HTC? Well, it's HTC, not THC. And the Harman target curve, HTC, is a frequency response curve, which is supposed to be preferred by most trained listeners. For the last five years, the scientific audiophile has gone deep undercover, research investigating the Harman target curve. And we uncovered this video from the Taconi Audio Group, which literally destroys everything Harman tries to tell you about the target curve. Now, what we discovered will shock you, and if you are easily triggered, we ask you now to leave the video. And to be absolutely clear, the evidence we uncovered in the Taconi Audio Group's research video was not noticed by them. They had no idea that they were actually blowing the lid off the Harman target curve. At 2 minutes and 53 seconds into the video, the narrator explains that the tests were done blindfolded. Watch this. Harman conducted blind listening tests. Now look closely at the photo. Dakoni didn't notice it, and you probably won't notice it either. But this Harman tester is blindfolded, but the blindfold also covers the ears. You cannot do quality audio research when you cover somebody's ears thus negating all the research Harman has done. No wonder they want boosted bass. When your ears are covered, you're gonna to want to boost the bass. This is terrible research by Harman and scientifically voids everything they've done, but it gets worse. At five minutes and 20 seconds into the video, Dakoni Audio Group tells you exactly what music Harman used. Look at these three. Jennifer Warnes, white. Steely Dan. Now, we didn't know which one was Steely or Dan, so we think it's this way. Very white. And the Dallas Wind Symphony, also extremely white. Another reason why people probably want their bass boosted is because this music doesn't have a lot of bass in it. So 99% of you are probably saying already, oh my God, this music choices is racist. But we actually have proof of the racism. At six minutes and 28 seconds into the video, the Dakoni narrator states the following. The less preferred headphone target responses were frequently described as sounding too bright, dull, thin, and colored. You, you can't say colored. And, and worse yet, they used it as a negative. Harmon actually used the word colored as a negative. This is pure racism. Harmon should be ashamed of themselves. And you, not only because it's not science-based, but because it's racist-based, should completely stop using the Harman target curve. The scientific audio file is gonna release its own target curve, and this is what it's gonna look like. This is what we expect you should use from now on. Do not use the Harman target curve. Use the scientific audio file target curve. It is not based in racism. It is not based in false science and it is the best sounding curve you're ever gonna get. So thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing, sharing, and commenting on this video. We'll bring you more science-based research and testing and reviews in the future.